During the time of the Vikings, when they ruled the land for ages, when their rage and strength was unmatched by anyone who challenged them, they stood as the fiercest warriors for many ages, until they fought an enemy unknown to them. This is the story of Aliens Stalker, but most of us would see it as Alien vs. Vikings. Released in 1998 and published by Dark Horse Comics, the story pits the Vikings against an alien. Will they prevail or will the alien destroy the last remnants of the Viking lineage? Before we get started, make sure you leave a like on the video. The story begins with a group of Vikings searching for this beast, which they call the Crawler or the Slayer. They are fully aware of its existence, but all they find are bodies of the deceased. This occurred some time ago, so they continue their search. Upon discovering a fresh trail, they learn the creature has taken to the water. Rainolf, the Wraith Stalker, releases his ravens and follows them, thinking they will lead him to the beast they seek. A little backstory of Rainolf is explained within. He was the apprentice of Grimolf, the first Wraith Stalker. They ask if he shares the same skills of his departed master. He responds with, I've not yet bloodied my sword, but I've made the sacrifices. Lady Alwyn and her brother escape the attack on the uplands. They are from the line of Drogo. He was an ancient king that fought the first crawler, but the creature was not defeated. And now they believe it returns every 50 years to lay ruin to his descendants. There's a few notes left behind from Drogo the Berserker. He recounts the memories of his encounter with the crawler. I go now to the Dark Lands to face the Black Slayer. It will hunt me with its sightless eyes and rend my bones with its butcher talons. I will meet the Slayer's onslaught, lost in the red fury of a berserker rage. I see before me the dead piled like cordwood. I am lost to the red madness, and froth spews from my lips. I go to perish in the demon's maw. It's revealed that a deal has been made. It says this, The lady has come to me with a proposal. If I will lead my warriors against the beast, she will agree to be my consort. My viking's cut will be a share of her lands. It is all she has left to offer. She wants everyone to be free of this curse upon the land. The crawler must be slayed. Someone brings up the prophecy that has slipped the minds of most men. It says that no mortal man can defeat the crawler. Despite this, Rainolf agrees to join their group. They cross the waters and follow the ravens, which leads them to an unfamiliar island. With sword and shield in hand, the warriors make their way forward. Rainolf says they found the crawler's lair. It's the smell of its stench that he picked up. As they explore this strange new land, they notice it's been twisted. It looks like the bowels of the underworld. The crawler is a demon spawned from the loins of hell herself, and very soon they are attacked. The crawler is picking them off one by one. Rainolf comes up with a plan. He creates a fire in the center. He was told by Grimolf the fire keeps the creature at bay. It fears the flames. As they close in with their torches, they surround the creature. Thorfinn steps in to deliver the fatal blow, but the acid blood melts away at his helmet, and the crawler fights back. Most of the men are defeated fairly quickly, but just then, Brodir tackles the crawler and is pulled down into its lair. With Thorfinn blinded and most of his men defeated, Odo's cowardly men have come out of hiding, but it is Rainolf who ventures alone into the lair of the beast. Down below he finds the tomb of old Drogo. The creature has infested the very grave of its age-old enemy. As Rainolf battles the beast in the tunnels, Odo's men come up with a plan. Since their men outnumber what remains of Thorfinn's forces, they no longer need him, and he is eliminated in his blind state. The remaining men that followed Thorfinn are now enslaved by Odo's men. They gather the treasure found in Drogo's tomb and cast away from the island. In the distance, they see Rainolf running towards them, but just out of reach. 
Just then, the crawler finds its way onto the boat and attacks the men. Reynolf could have been trying to warn them, but it was too late. Odo had sworn to protect his sister, but it seems his words were merely empty promises. He tries to flee from the crawler, but is eliminated. When Lady Alwyn is covered in the blood of fallen warriors, she goes into a state of red rage and grabs a weapon. This could be the berserker rage that Drogo had experienced when he first fought the crawler long ago. Rainolf comes to help Lady Alwyn, but his weapon is destroyed when he attacks the creature, but he uses the hilt to continue his attack. Because they believe in the prophecy that no man can defeat the crawler, it is Lady Alwyn, a mortal woman, who strikes this deadly blow, and together they take down the crawler. But as the ship sinks from the acid blood, Lady Alwyn begins to swim away from the sinking ship. Reynolf cannot leave yet. He has one thing left to do. He retrieves his broken blade, and the timeline now skips into the distant future. Grimolf's hilt was reforged with a new blade. From that time to now, every stalker has carried the master's blade. A descendant of Reynolf is seen telling the story of his blade to his team. He even shares a similar name to Reynolf. We can see two members holding a smart gun and pulse rifle in the background. Despite this being the long version of the story, his team members don't believe the story of his blade. It closes out by them going off to fight aliens in their time. It seems like this descendant of Reynolf is destined to fight the crawlers. The end. While most of the stories around the alien take place in the distant future, this comic book story is different. There's been more predator stories that took place in the present or the past, so it's a unique thing to see this timeline within the alien universe. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like rating on it, and to see more lore within the alien universe, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I've also done lore videos around other franchises like the Relic movie, Species, Pumpkinhead, and a lot more. But I do recommend you check out my lore videos on the Giver franchise. It's been forgotten with time, but I still think the story holds up fairly well. I'm going to leave links to other videos. Perhaps you might find something else of interest. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, so follow me on those platforms. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video. Even now, I can't help but admire her, despite all she did to hold us back. Three times she faced them. Three times she obstructed our progress. She showed us strength that few possess. If she had only realized the magnificence of what she had sought to destroy,